Hey guys, Barefoot on Bricks here, and oh boy, is March shaping up to be a big month. So many great releases. And in today's video, we're going to be checking out all seven LEGO Technic sets to be released. We've got Formula One, Space, and a Superbike to look forward to. And I reckon there is something to fit most LEGO fans' budgets. But before we get into it, just a quick reminder, if you enjoy my content, please hit the like button. And if you aren't already, then consider subscribing. As always, any and all support is gratefully appreciated. So let's get things started with the first of two Mercedes sets with set number 42165, the Mercedes AMG F1 W14 E pullback. The 240 piece set is the more affordable and smaller scale version of set 42171. The 240 piece set measures 24 centimeters long, 6 centimeters high, and 10 centimeters wide, and will feature pullback functionality, which is a pretty cool play feature. A great looking color scheme, in my opinion, and a handful of stickers round off the set, which will retail for £21 or $27 or €27. Euros. Set 42169 is the Neon McLaren Formula E race car. The set features 452 pieces and will retail for £47 or $50 or €53. Euros. The set features working steering as well as the fun pullback function, so you can send the set flying across the floor. The set measures 31cm long, 6cm high and 12cm wide. Now one of my pick of the bunch is set 42170, the Kawasaki Ninja H2R. The 1.8 scale set features 643 pieces and will retail for £70, $85 or €80. Euros. The set has authentic features such as steering, suspension and a 2-speed gearbox, as well as a kickstand for ease of display. Set 42170 measures a decent 31cm long and 17cm high. Now getting into a theme that LEGO are really pushing this year and that is space with set number 42178, the Surface Space Loader LT78. The 435-piece set features some great play features, with a moving crane as well as the cabin. The set also features a new airlock element that will allow you to connect with other space-compatible LEGO sets. Set 42178 will retail for £30, $35 or €35, Euros, and measures 20 centimeters long, 9 cm high and 19 cm wide. Sticking with the space theme, but something quite different, is set 42179, the planet Earth and Moon in orbit. The set shows how the Earth and Moon orbit around the Sun via a rotating crank system. The set features printed elements which include the month and moon phases to highlight how the Earth's orbit affects our seasons. The 526 piece set will retail for £70, $75 or €80, Euros, and measures an impressive 33cm long, 24cm high and 18cm wide. Back on Mars we have set 42180, the Mars Crew Exploration Rover, a 1599 piece set that looks pretty awesome, and packed with loads of play features such as an expanding truck bed, moving crane, elevator, companion rover and beacons. The set also features the airlock element, allowing it to be combined with other compatible space sets. The set measures 44cm long, 23cm high and 21cm wide, and will retail for £130, $150 or €150. Euros. The last space theme set is set number 42181, the VTOL Heavy Cargo Spaceship LT81. The Vertical Takeoff and Landing, or VTOL, set features 1,365 pieces, and again hosts a good number of play features, such as rotating engines, a mini rover explorer, and retractable landing gear. All in all, plenty of swooshability. The set measures 52 centimeters long, 19 centimeters high and 47 centimeters wide. Lastly, we have set 42171, the Mercedes AMG F1 W14 E Performance. 
The impressive looking set features a six cylinder engine with moving pistons, slick tyres, suspension, as well as an opening tail wing which is inspired by the real version's DRS. There are also two different options of steering, either using the steering wheel or the hand of God steering feature on top of the racing car. The set measures 63cm long and 26cm wide, and will make an impressive display piece. The set will retail for £190, $220 or €220. Euros. So there you have the Techno sets launching in March, adding to an already impressive release month. But what will you be looking to pick up? Personally, the Kawasaki Ninja and Planet Earth in Orbit are day one for me, with a few others sitting on the wish list. But please do leave me a comment and let me know what you think of the March releases overall. So until next time, take care, stay safe and most importantly, have fun.